it's Sandy. Um, we're going to do cardio class today. So if you need a chair to work next to, you just pull your chair in and have it handy with that, um, whatever side you want it on or be near a sofa or something. If you don't need the chair, if you're sure of yourself, you're just fine. We're going to get cardio. We're going to work a little hard. We're really going to get the heart rate. So plan on it. Get that out of my way and we'll get started. We'll do little stretches before we get started. Let's roll those shoulders and take our deep, deep breaths. You've got your posture. Roll those shoulders into your upper back. Careful toward the neck, but work the upper back muscles with these shoulder rotations. And reverse. Large and smooth, squeeze back. Careful neck, squeeze back. Let's focus a little bit more on those upper back muscles. Really work the upper back with these shoulder rolls. And we'll get one more. Shoulders down, core tight, hands on the top of your thighs. We'll keep the legs together. Gonna think about your lower back as you get some stretch. Tighten up, here we go. Slide the hands down, middle finger on the top of your kneecap and hold that right there. Hold that right there. You are going to look at the floor so you do not pull your neck up. Not going to hurt your neck. I will talk you through this. Slide those hands down and cup your kneecaps. If that's too far, slide them back up. We're okay. Any stretch depth that you get is fine. And one more. We won't spend, <clears throat> excuse me, too long on this deep stretch. Hands down on the shins, slide them down just below the kneecap, lower back, very nice. And then slow motion, we're going to squeeze the stomach and slide those hands up, the thighs all the way up. We're going to roll those shoulders back and get our posture. Going to step wide. We're going to work in the hips today with our cardio. So we're going to get a little bit of hip stretch. So go as wide as you can and your toes are going to point forward. Just going to rock on the toes and heels. Hang on to that chair. We're going to squeeze up into the thigh muscles a little bit. And bring those feet down. If that is too wide on your hips, you bring it in. If you've got a hip replacement and you don't want your feet so wide, that's okay. Bend forward just a little bit, hinged at the hips, looking at the floor about six feet in front of you, core so tight. You're just going to reach your right hind knee to the corner of the room behind you, get the inner left thigh up, and reach the left hip to the corner of the room behind, and continue. And our goal is to get a nice, deep stretch on the inner thigh. Good for the hips. Nice on the glutes, getting a stretch back there. We're going to get a nice pullover on the inner thigh. Let's do three more sets. Reach a little farther. Reach and reach. Two more. Pull on that inner thigh and push. One more set. Over. And over. Let's just do one more. We're going to hold it. Nice. Reach a little further and switch over. Opposite hip to the corner of the room behind you. Nice stretch on that opposite inner thigh. Reach deep, deep for about three seconds and release. Center. Slowly bring the back up. Step it together. Little loosening of the joints as we put those arms in the air. We're just going to make sure your shoulders are ready to work with us today. We're going to do some arms in the air. Uh, if you've got frozen shoulder and you cannot, 
You can stay here and do a little move, or you can move them in the front, just to keep the heart rate going with the arm movement. But when we get to spots where you can raise, it's optional. You can do whichever you please. Uh, all right, I'm gonna get this music turned on with the beat going. And get some good heart rate today. Three, 
Heels in the back. Just don't squeeze your hands. 